Let's do it again, Kevin. Do it again? Yeah. Okay, don't swing. The only thing I can see is the tee, the ball on the tee. So I would set up and I would ask my guide what, what are obstacles, and I'd go ahead and hit the ball. <laughs> and the first thing I do is I look behind me. Nigel, how did I do? He's gonna say yay or nay. Beautiful. My name is Kevin Frost. I'm a three-time world champion in blind speed skating, and I'm here to talk about blind golfing. So I have a condition called Usher syndrome where I lost my hearing at 11 and my vision at 30. So it threw a big curveball and, you know, just simple things like picking up the ball, I might just slip, slip, slant over because I lose my balance. Yeah, it looks good. I actually see about 4% tunnel vision and 10% hearing with my hearing. Light plays a big role in me when it's dark. I, I got no night vision, so when we go into the shade, my vision adapts right away. So when I go into a dark building, it takes about five minutes to adapt. But I don't have that time in golf, because you only have a couple of minutes to get ready to hit the next ball. So with my hearing aid, uh, it's a little more quieter game, and you know, got to be quiet playing golf. So I remember we were at a, a golf course, and there was a, there was a gun range. Well, that just threw my whole game off, because that's all I was hearing. The secret family of blind golf is your guide is your 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 heaven to do well in golf and I have Nigel in Ottawa. My name is Nigel Bruce. Uh, I've been golfing about 50 years uh, and I met Kevin about three years ago here on the golf course at Pineview. I just came for a game of golf one Sunday afternoon and uh, I was a single player. I didn't have anyone to play with and uh, I got paired up with, with Kevin. And it wasn't until about the third or fourth hole that Kevin actually said, you know, you, know, you do realize I'm blind. And, and wow, no, I didn't realize he was blind. Um, Kevin is an incredibly good golfer. He plays incredibly well. He's pretty modest, uh, but uh, he plays golf very well. I'm gonna try my driver. Okay. So Nigel would go up to the hole with me and he'd make sure that I'm lined up straight because what's really interesting, my straight and your straight are two different things. So I had to learn what straight on a blind person is. Oh, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> that was way too high. Okay, let's do it again, Kevin. Do it again? Yeah. For me, it's enormous fun and it's very rewarding. I mean, it's giving back. I never get to see the ball go. So I can hit a ball and I just go, yeah, but I don't get to see it. Or once we were 70, 90 yards, I hit the ball and it goes in, Nigel dancing, and I'm going, oh, I guess it went in. So that's kind of how blind golf works. Five yards. It's kind of a cool experience to go represent your country at Worlds and, and I think there'll be probably close to 50 golfers there. So it'll be kind of cool, you know, it'll be a new experience. So my best advice to all athletes when you're going to, uh, for just, just enjoy the moment. If you focus too much on the game, you'll fall, it sounds weird, but you fall apart. You just go there and have fun, you'll actually perform better. I always, I always been told it sounds like you don't hit the ball and actually you, you do better. It sounds weird, but it's so true. And that means you don't, if you don't hit the ball, you're not hitting more than 90% and your, and your ball goes where it wants to go. But remember, I don't get to see it. So it's a different game altogether.